Alrighty, so this is the PLM version 2 attached to my D-Lite 4. Uh, it's currently set at max power. Anyway, I just wanted to see how well this fares outdoors. Uh, I'd say the wind is about 5 mile per hour, maybe 6 per hour gusts. So, just light breezes. You can see the wind's actually pushing from this way, and the back of the umbrella is facing that way. So, this is just going to continue to wobble back and forth. But, I'm going to be bold, and I'm going to rotate this to see whether my setup will hold at an outdoor setting. I currently have a sandbag on the bottom right here. I believe that is 15 pounds, 15 or 10, I'm not quite sure. So anyway, I'm just going to wait and see. So this is the PLM on an Elencrom D-Lite 4 and we're doing an outdoors test. As you can see the wind's coming from this way and is hitting the full, oh well, the PLM is catching the wind right now so. Uh, that is pretty much it, nothing exciting right now. Um, I want to see how this fares without the sandbag because most of the time I feel that I won't need one but I mean when, when I'm gonna be using this I will be needing one but I want to see if it can sustain it before uh, the actual stand falls over anyway so so far so good Uh, the stand is on a rolling uh, IV4 medical stand, and I'm just waiting to see. I'm waiting for the wind to pick up. So I'd say it's about 2 o'clock right now. Sunny California day. And still waiting for this to do something interesting. I mean, obviously I'm taking the risk that this whole setup could fall and faceplant any moment, at any given moment, but I want to see the stress test. Oh, we're getting some mild breezes. Uh, there are no locks on the caster wheels, as you can see, because they don't come with it, and I don't really foresee Oh, here we go, we got some wind. So the wheels moved a little bit. We're not directly in a wind funnel right now, so... This isn't going to topple in one go. So, I guess... I guess this is okay. So this is the PLM version 2 outdoors with the new Vagabond Mini attached right here. And, oh, hey look, it's moving. Nice. Okay, so I'm holding it, hang on. Give me a bigger gust. Anyway, this is the Vagabond Mini. Uh, this is really hot because I'm standing in front of the PLM and it's kind of acting like a magnifying glass. So the Vagabond Mini has two ports right here. Uh, it can support up to three Einsteins at full power and I believe with one Einstein you'll get about 455 full power shots or about two or three hours worth of shooting continuous shooting now one in, one important thing to note is that the D-Lite 4 is not fully compatible with this system meaning I can only use one D-Lite 4 at any given moment because of the bi voltage switch inside so if I have two of these uh, the both lights will start acting up. So Ellen Crown D Light Fours are not compatible with the Vagabond Mini. However, they are compatible with the Vagabond Original. You can run up to three D Light Fours on that. That's probably due to the stronger inverter located inside the the Vagabond. Anyway, that is pretty much it. Yes. Okay. Proof that it works. Okay, so this does work. Anyway, that is it for now. I've proved my point. I wanted to real test this out to see that whether this or 
whether this setup can sustain can be sustained without a sandbag. And there it is. So, hope you enjoyed. Bye.